Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Chris's Cuddles. Today we're going to go do my gorgeous little Emily who is of course the Lulu Sculpt by Giovanna K. I'm going to carry on with the knitwear. Sorry well, little bunny sweetheart and we're going to put her in this. Whoops sorry. Try not to knock it over again. This little lame I call her pinafore dress. I think it was from next this. Yeah next baby. Keep me, love me, pass me on. Okay, dokie. So it's knitted, as you can see, and there's a lot going on. It's like um, a lilac-y grey at the top, green at the bottom, that I think supposed to be grass. And you turn it over, it's ribbed um, straps, ribbed round the top and under the arms. Right, we'll start this side. It's got a cloud with pink cheeks, black eyes, and a rainbow in red. Uh, mustardy colour, yellow, green, blue, pink, a nice goldy coloured sun. It's got a, a tree, and I think they might be apples. All these are like 3 deed 3 deed uh, Some, don't know, round bits. Some embroidered flowers on this lovely big caterpillar. It's got a golden head, then red, then lilac, then turquoise, then gold, then red, then pink. Oh! Oh, that's a mouthful, isn't it, Emily? Eh, hey, little Emily? Been to the hospital, got all my checks done. So I've just got to wait to go in now. It comes with this little onesie that's white and it's got little pink polka dots on, long sleeves, two studs between the legs and it also comes with these cream stripes, st cream stripes, cream tights with green lines on and they've both got a rainbow on each leg oh little girl and i've got oh we're not lifting your no socks out oh you've got tights oh i hope this woman's here again right so that first no that first then that that then that then that and i've lifted these little unicorn slippers out that somebody sent me is it last Christmas? I think it might have been Lisa Coates. She says, only Lisa sent me anything. Like, you know, back in the day type of thing. I mean, it all oh, that blanket last night off Claudia. Oh, my goodness. Kept, like, stroking it all night like that, sitting, stroking it. It's flipping gorgeous. It's lovely and warm. And it weighs an absolute ton. But I do like them slippers, what she's got on. So I'll see anyway, I'll make my mind up uh, once we've dressed her. So I like these. I think they were off Team U. Oh no, yeah. No, not Team U. Why do I keep saying everything's off Team U? Vinted. I mean Vinted. Just ordered two pair of shoes off Team U. Now I mean Team U that time. I've had another little parcel delivered from Vinted. Do you know, I, I only remember do this baby when I see her. I keep saying I'm going to um, matter. And I keep forgetting till I see her. And then I think, oh, look how shiny this poor child is. Tell you why it's cold today. It is cold. Just ordered myself two uh, cashmere jumpers for Christmas. Well, one's off Paul and I'm buying one myself. So they're ready tomorrow and uh, says he's going to get me that baby. You know, that baby what I said, I've seen on Matt Fearson's. Well, the sculpt. He's paying for the sculpt and I'll have perfect, get it made, done. Won't I, little girl? Hey. Oh. Um, I know I've got more girls than boys, but. I don't know whether I'd be as a girl. Here yeah, I've got loads of time to think about that. It's only out in January, I think. Beginning of January. I've never heard of this artist. Um, can't even remember her name without looking on my phone. The sculptor, not artist, isn't it? Sculptor. I thought it was Cassie Brace, but it... I don't think it is. It's like 
three three words. Anyway, we'll see when it comes. What we? Hey, little girl. Right, tarts first. That dress is nice. That's come today, and the tights that's with it. Oh, lovely! Absolutely lovely. They don't actually go with the dress. She sold them with the dress. The dress is nursery time, I think. And the tights is pecs. Oh, but they're lovely. Little diamantes on them again, I think. Oh. Come on, sweetie. Let's pull your drawers up. There we go. She said my heart rate was high again on my tests. Uh, but they took loads of blood tests, loads of blood for blood tests. So she said, we'll, we'll wait and see what comes back off your blood test. And you might have to go for a um, heart scan. I thought, God, what next? So hopefully it comes back all right. Because when they had me uh, gallbladder out, they said it was I then, my heart rate, remember? There was only an hour in my other operate then. So we'll have to wait and see. What were, eh? Hey? Things you do for a day out, I don't know. How well, things I do. Didn't like getting up early this morning. And then I went back to sleep. You woke me up with a cup of tea. And uh, I went back to sleep. I goes mad when I do that. I can't help it though. Don't, don't do it on purpose. He's always worried, you know, because we, we're about... Well, he likes leaving an hour before. We're not an hour away, but you never know traffic and stuff. And they'd forecast dense fog for this morning. It was a bit foggy, but not dense fog. Anyway, we made it. We was a bit late setting off, as usual. I'm never ready. Um, but we made it. We made it, didn't we, little Emily? Because we knew where we was going this time. Last time we went, he we went off at the wrong exit for, on the motorway. And we got a little lost, didn't we? We was going through all these housing, housing estates and everywhere. But he winds me up when he does that. He really does wind me up. I said, why don't you stop and ask somebody? But no, no, we'll just have a look down here. We'll just go down this road and this road and this road. And then I get all worked up then, you know, because I know I'm going to be late. But we went straight there today. He realised his uh, silly mistake. So I've moved buttons on this. It has been warm before, so I can't do Jay's tag. Oh, isn't it cute? Do you know, I don't know whether to put a little cardigan on her. Hmm. She's only got that little pin t-shirt on. Let's have a quick look, see what I can find. It's got all colours on that, hasn't it? Little cream one. What about that? That's not been worn yet. Cream good. Well, the tights are cream. Yeah, we'll put that on. So I can join in with Jay's tag. Which is Jay's Dolls UK hashtag new baby clothes. And I know I was going to send me cards off yesterday, but I took the cards down and forgot to take my address boot down. So when I've done this, I'm going to go down and write them all out. Get them at post tomorrow, hopefully, if I don't fall asleep. Like Rip Van Winkle. Rip Van Winkle! This is nice. Where did I get this from? Oh, this must be off Team U. One to three months. So let's hope it's not too big. Got a gorgeous one I've fainted. Oh, it's gorgeous. Dandelion. Dandelion one it is. Can't wait to show you all. Show you all my goodies. I don't know why I keep buying stuff. I'm just addicted to buying baby clothes. Can't help it. Can't help it. So I've no work for them. They're everywhere. Everywhere. 
going to have to do another giveaway and put some in a giveaway like I did last time, get rid of some. That sounds awful, doesn't it, get rid of some? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, never. none of them's like really worn, as you can see. Look after them. Going to get worn once or twice, they have that much stuff. Pretty little cardigan, isn't it? Not that big. I, when I used knitting for my kids when they was little, I always used knit them under the bum. You know, the length, so that it was under the bum. So they'll get more wear out of it. Not that she's got grow like. But sleeves are okay. Isn't it pretty? Scallop little edge. I never showed you, did I? Scallop round the bottom. And it's got this, like, uh, open work. It's that fine knit stuff. I think it's right nice. Isn't it, sweetie? Yeah, I've just ordered two pair of shoes. I've got a pair off Sheen. But I don't know how to send out contact Sheen. You know, when you get them from um, Timu, they sell, like, you know, a refund or what have you. And you click refund and then... You go on from there. There's nothing. They have sent me like a little slip of paper uh, saying, you know, what for it do. But it says, click on your... Um, sheen. So we have done. And I've no orders. Isn't it? I mean, I, I thought they'd sent me wrong size. If not, they have sent me right size, but they're a bit tight. Want to run this hand, sweetie? So I don't know what to do with them. Oh, is me? Excuse me. Right. Oh, shoes. Them. Where's the one for two cuff? Put the on the first left them on there. You know, things just here. He found one. Where's the other one? It bin. Oh, you might have known it's be bin. Right, let's have a look. We put one of these on this foot. I do like them because they get on go on easy. But I don't know if I've ever used these. These are them um, doo doos. <laughs> doo doos. They're racket. Do you know I thought of a name for me, Burr? And I forgot. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Now, what do you think? Should we put unicorn ones on for a change? Yeah, let's put unicorn ones on for the change, eh? So if you're watching Lisa, I don't think she watches my channel anymore. Thank you very much for these little beauties. I'm sure she sent me them. Or did I get them off? Vintage. She might have sent me reindeers. I think it was around Christmas when she sent them me. Yeah, little reindeers. That's what Lisa sent me. So I must have bought them myself. Right, little girl. Put a peg on these and we won't lose them. Or if we do, we'll lose both. And it'll be easier to find. I don't know where I got these from. And uh, that's it. Right, we're going to do um, Oliver now. I've done a row, haven't I? Come on, Mwah. come on, little girl. Oh, you look very pretty, don't you? Yeah. Pretty little girl. Oh, move your legs, Dorothy. Thank you. Come on, Oliver. Do you? Oh, oh dear me. Top off that thing again. Right, this is my little Oliver with his little bunny. Bunny, bunny, uh, burr. Oh my goodness. Oh dear me, I don't know what's going on in my head. He's all in Peter Wabbit, aren't you? Who sent me this? One of my subscribers sent me this. And whoever it was, it was from Pembroke. 
That's from Pembroke Castle. Isn't he cute? Little cuter, he claimed that, didn't you? Oh my goodness, I forgot. I don't know. I don't know. Old age is no joke, Oliver. Don't get old, lovey. Stay young. I don't think you've got a choice, really, have you? Right. Take your dungies off. I've not showed you what he's having on. He's having this on. It's only him can wear naught to three. I don't know why. This is from Primark. Isn't it lovely, that, from Primark? It's by... Um, oh, what was the name? She married Joe Squash. Squash, Squash. She talks very quick. You can never tell what she's saying. Oh, what's a bloody name? Oh, at least I've not only forgot my friend's name, my subscriber. I forgot her name as well. But this is nice and soft. I was surprised when I seen that in Primark. I think it's gorgeous. Got all two imitation wooden buttons and then it's got all this fur aisle pattern across the chest. A little bit of pattern at the end of the sleeves. And it's got two pockets at the bottom. It's got a pattern round the bottom of the legs and buttons through the legs, round the legs. And that pattern goes all the way around the back. Oh, it's lovely and soft. And I've lifted some little fluffy socks and I've lifted these out. Sorry, chicken. I don't think I've ever used these. I think they might have been off team you. I'm not sure if you pull them in. Like that. No nails. Tighten them with that there, I think. We'll have a go anyway. I'm not saying I'm going to put them on him, but never used them. Oh, it sounds like battery's going to go in my hearing aid. It's peeping, isn't it? So for my new ones, who doesn't know? Oh, I've just plucked blanket now. Look at that with my ring. Do you know, I stopped wearing that eternity ring because it plucks everything. Um, who are you? 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 The August Awake Kit by Don McLeod. He was born on the 20th. Oh, where are we? 30th of January, 1919. 2023, oh my God. I'll tell you what, if you can understand what I'm coming out with, you're a better man than I am. I've lost it now. I can't see because of the light. Um, he's 20 inches in length and he weighs £6, 4 ounces. And he was reborn by Mandy's babies here in the UK. Mandy Williams. Was it you? Eh? Take your socks off. Might leave these. Always got to put them woolly ones on him, wasn't it? Where have they gone now? Because they're quite thick. Not if it filled the booties out. Don't know if they leave them on him. I think they're thicker than them. So I think them booties might be a bit big. Yeah, I've got to leave these on him. Made a decision. Check me ages, make a decision. Have you noticed? Yeah, they're nice and thick, aren't they? Eh? A bit like your mummy. Oh, take your booty off first. Leave your sock on if we can. There we go. We're having stew and dumplings for tea. Not had it for a while. Been it oven since we came back from the hospital. That's got a plug in. <laughs> We called it Smith's on the way home and got Kane's Christmas presents. You know what he wants? I don't know. I hope he's not got to turn out big gay. Because his brother is who lives in New Zealand. He wanted a tattoo um, thing. You know, like, um, oh, what do you call it? My words aren't coming out today, are they? Oh, dear. Um... Salon, doing tattoos. That was in the girls' aisle, and he wanted to um, make bath bombs. And I won't care, they've not got a bath, they've got a shower, but he loves bath bombs. And that was in the girls' aisle as well. I said to Paul, what's going on him ordering girls' stuff? 
And I hope he's not going to turn out gay. I said, don't start. I said, well, it's bloody strange, isn't it? You know he likes helping me with my babbies as well. He's not been on, has he, for a while? He's always, like, sticking his head in. Mind you, we've not been having him, have we, with Paul being bad? Oh, he can't, he can't walk now. His knee's gone. His knee's gone and his shoulder, his shoulder's hurting. I said, I don't know. And I meant to get on to my doctor as well. I, I want an injection in my, foot, in my knee. But I better won't get it anyway now till after I come out of hospital and then I, I might be a couple of weeks before I, I'm ready for go anywhere. But we'll have to see. Oh, but I need one. And my other knee's going. Both bloody hips hurt. I don't know. Talk about the, we have the technology to rebuild. Could do with it. Come here, little boy. Look at them gorgeous blue eyes. And little ginger hair. Nice and warm, this one, won't it? Hey, it's lovely and warm. If you bumps up, that's it. Still not thought of her name. Won't be able to sleep tonight now if I don't remember that. She won the um, Britain's Got Talent one. No, she came second, I think, in Britain's Got Talent one year. And she's on a um, if you're not in England, you might not get it. She does um, clearing houses, you know, clearing all your clutter out. Oh, God. I hate doing this. Bugs me. Paul's not, still not found his lights, what he can't find. They come in yesterday with another Christmas decoration. Keep saying to him, we've got enough. We had enough before he bought these. We've got loads. It takes in. About three days for put all decorations up outside. And he was saying before when we came back, he said somebody was advertising on Facebook that they put decorations up for £20 outside. So whether he's thinking of asking them to put them up, I don't know. £20 put them up and £10 put up, take them down, I think. I think that's what they charge. It doesn't seem a lot to me. Said to Paul, yeah, but they've not seen how many we've got. I said, I don't think, I think you'll be charged more than 20 quid. When Lynn lived here next door, she used to say, oh, planes was trying to land in the back garden. Thought it was in a, a, um, a strip. There's that many lights going off. I mean, we have lights in the garden all year round. He's put some more up the other day. But, um, oh, we have loads at Christmas. There we go. Got it. Oh, you look like the abominable snowman. His toes are only down here. They'll keep your little tootsies warm. Oh, there. Hey. It's um, Paul's daughter's boyfriend's birthday today. I think we're going up there tonight with these presents. They've not wrapped that up yet. I have to wrap that up when I go down. That's handy, isn't it? Have it as tight as you want. I don't think there's any chance of them falling off, is there, buddy? Hey? I can't think what I picked for this little burr. Oh, I think it was Jingle Burr. Mr. Jingles, Mr. Bo Jingles. That's it, Mr. Bo Jingles. Because that could do for a girl or a boy then, couldn't it? Yeah, we'll have that. Mr. Bo Jingles. I'll forget by the time I go downstairs. So all you lot can remind me when I forget. Cat there, Oliver. Hey, eh? You don't need anything on your... Uh, I knew you have got a sticky up bit there, haven't you? You're still seeing him. Oh, gosh, my back. <laughs> she, she asked me. I had to see him... Um, How many people did I see today? Three? Four? Three? 
and the three or four and um, the lady that I seen the other week that gave me the nutrition thing and the, the exercises for it do she sent um because that was at another hospital sent a physio lady down for it to see me I thought oh god here we go <laughs> and Paul was sitting next to him I'm surprised he didn't chirp in because she I told her I walked the dog I mean, I do walk the dog now and again. I said, Paul said, you're a fib, are you? I said, well, I did walk him last week when you was at golf. He went, yeah, once a week. So she said, are you still doing your exercises? I've only done them once. She gave me, you know, that one of them rubber bands just for my arms, really. Keep my arms strong, I don't know why. And she just told me, move around the house more because she said that you get a lot of exercise. I said, well, I can't really. You know, all my arthritis. So I said, well, what do you do during the day? I said, well, watch telly, really. But I told her about my, my babies and stuff. She said, oh, well, carry on doing that. that. That's a bit of exercise. I thought, well, you know, it's not much exercise, is it? And um, just move round the house more. So when Paul's having a go at me, because he waits on me hand and foot on the night. I never get up. He does tea, brings it in for me on a tray. Nine o'clock, he puts kettle on. Sometimes I put kettle on. If I put kettle on, he pours it. But if he puts kettle on, he pours it. <laughs> I keep saying you're going to have to get up off your bum. Every time dog wants to go out, he gets up and lets the dog out. I'll just sit there like Lady Muck. I'm mad at your dog wants to go out. And it's me who wanted the dog, but I'd never said that to him. I always say, you a dog. She, she, she loves him, you know, because he walks her and stuff. Oh, let's have a look at you. Oh, gosh, that's not a quiff, is it? Hey, can you sit up for me? You still seeing him? No. Watch me knock it off. You'll do what? Let's have, have a look at you. What's going on? It needs going over a bit more, doesn't it? Oh. See, non mummy's boobies, I mean. Concentrating, can you tell? It looks all right till I pull my finger out, and then it goes weird. I blew my finger in till it dries, shouldn't I? Like the little boy in the dam, stuck his finger in the dam. Look at that. Now that looked all right, didn't it? Oh, winds me up. Oh, you should have heard me last night. Oh, I was livid. Call come out. I put the bags out, you know, because we have recycling bags. We have one for paper, one for cardboard, and one for, like, aerosols and plastic containers, you know, like your milk and stuff. And honest, round here, they are brain dead. It tells you on your bag what's, you know, what's on them, what you put in. And we've had a bag on the front for, this will be three weeks now. Because they won't take them unless they're in the right bag. We've had one there that's been there three weeks. Now, it's not on their front, so it don't bother them. You know what I mean? Anyway, I went out last night. I take the bags, Paul puts the bin out. And this weird one here on the end that doesn't talk to us, you know, the one that's been to borrow the ladder a few times. Uh, she'd put it out in a, um, an Aldi carrier bag. Loads of cardboard, loads of cardboard boxes. And one had a name on, number 17, I think it was. And I'm the, when Paul come out, he went, what are you doing? I said, do you know what? And I was shouting at the top of my voice. I said, people round here just piss me off. And he said, what are you shouting for? I said, what am I shouting for? I said, I'm stood here collapsing all her bloody boxes and putting them in our bag because she can't be bloody arsed. I said, get on my nerves round here. So he said, you sound like a fishwife. I said, I feel like a fishwife. I said, I wish she'd come out. I said, I'm shouting so that everybody can hear me. I said, I'm sick of it. I said, they don't have it on their front because her who's left it, her back's are here, her back garden. It's a weird estate, this. A weird, 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 weird. 
So I don't think Paul was impressed. Why are you shouting at? Anyway, the woman who lives next door to me, Carl told her today, because she's friendly with her. Oh, I give up with this. My back's hurting. It, she's friendly with her, so whether she'll say, like, you know, I've been going mad, I don't know, and I don't care neither. She can pull me up. I'll rip her head off. I'm nobody's bloody slave. But if they hadn't done it, it had been left there, you know, for weeks and weeks because they know it's their bags and when they don't take them, they've not got the sense or the politeness to take it back in, leave it there. Right, that's my rant for the day. This is getting on my tit now. It's going to stay. I know it's not right, but it's staying. So you're done. Can't be bothered. I need to sit down. Right, where's your big brush gone? Oh, it's here. There's the top off that, and that is enough. There's your little bird that you've claimed. I wish I could thank you, that's off. Is it off Caroline? Hmm. It's either Caroline or Angie, I think. Whoever it is, if you're watching, I'm sorry, I forgot. You'll have to let me know again. I'll have to write it down. Suzanne, I always used to say she, she forgets, you know, when people are very kind enough to send you gifts. She forgets because she gets a lot, doesn't she, Suzanne? She had a, 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 a mean keeper book, you know, who sent me well. But you forget. I do. I've not got bloody brains or anything. But do it. Right, so that's it. So, uh, Friday tomorrow, isn't it? I'll try to get all my cards sent off and stuff. Uh, Paul's not playing golf, he said. His back's too bad. And his shoulder and his knee. <laughs> I don't know if they put us both together, but they wouldn't have a fallen, would they? Oh, what about Mr Pringle? What did I say before? Mr Bojangles. Mr Bojangles, look at him, he is gorgeous. Put him there, I'll squeeze him down there. Right, so, um, I'll try to come on tomorrow. Do you know, I never... Um, promise anything these days because you know what I'm like I either forget or I'm busy because Saturday if I get a chance I won't go to witness market for some new doormats all my doormats there Paul won't lie still why I trample on him she always says I treat him like a doormat um, so I want two new doormats because these are about nat <laughs> Uh, so, thank you very much for um, dropping by, spending a little time with me. Really appreciate it. Thank you for all your lovely comments, what you always leave me. Thank you again, Claudia, for my lovely gifts yesterday. Mm -hmm. They are gorgeous, especially that blanket. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So I put my it wash last night, get all food stains off it. Oh, that reminds me, it's still it drier. <laughs> eh, never mind, it won't do any harm. Um, what were we up to? Oh, thank you for all your comments, said that. Thank you for dropping by, said that. So look after yourselves and your precious loved ones and keep smiling. And hopefully I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Big kiss from me and the babies. Do you want to give them a kiss? Do you want to blow a kiss? Mm -hmm. Look at them. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, good boy. Gorgeous blue eyes, Anna. I've got a thing for blue eyes, me, haven't I? I think most of my babies have got blue eyes. Even Andrew, who doesn't open his eyes, he's got blue eyes. Blonde hair and blue eyes. Right, so I'm going. Okay, see how my, I bet my stew's dry if Paul's got sleep. Okay then, bye-bye everyone. Until my next video, bye-bye.